Well, hello, ladies and gents. Pepperbella here playing some Arma 3 Wasteland, spawning in here in some town I'm not really sure of. It's near a lighthouse, so I have an idea of where I'm at. Pretty dark out. Hopefully, I can find a subpar weapon here. At least this time I have two magazines instead of just one. Traditionally in this server you start off with just one magazine, which isn't really fun because <laughs> you'll kill like one guy if you're lucky and then you're kind of like fucked for the rest of it. Ooh. Lighting up my terrain. Let's check this for some weapons. Okay, nope, <laughs> nothing I can use here, which is unfortunate. Alright, I did see another vehicle over here, so I can make my way over to that. Come on, ah, oh, there we go. Something I can actually use, so now I get rid of that. And this is a 5.56, five, so take these. Yellow magazines. Hang on a second. Okay. There's a helicopter flying around up over there. See, it's such an unfortunate thing about this server in particular, it's like... You start off in Stratus, it's a really small island, it's up to 70 players, so you're guaranteed to find somebody, like, guaranteed, to run into someone. The drawback is, however, if you start off independent, or if you start off on any, actually, even Blue 4 or Op 4, you have, like, the shittiest gear, you have, like, no room to put anything. So, half the weapons you find, you can't even take all the ammo for, so you're just stuck with, like, oh, hey, look, a three round, I got technically four magazines on me right now. Opposed to having five, which that extra magazine, surprisingly, well, not unsurprisingly, comes in extremely handy. Let's see if I can get the hell out of here. Okay, this vehicle apparently doesn't want to run. So, scratch that idea. Now, here's a trick for all of you that do not know when you're playing Wasteland or playing any game mode where... Okay, well actually, this server does show me where I am. If you're playing a game, because there is one that's uh, a game mode where, like, a lot of times they won't show you where you are on the map. There's a really easy way to beat that, which is, like, it's extremely cheap. But it works. So if you, if you don't like being lost and you want to know where the hell you are, Following these steps will usually fix the problem. Looks like I just saw someone over there. So basically all you do, like, I'm over here right now, at the southern area, in Joy or J Cove. And the lighthouse is up here. It's just completely useless to go to, but today I had no idea where I was. Simple thing to do, place a checkpoint. So you shift, left click, there's a checkpoint, a waypoint, Personal waypoint, so now I'm looking around, it's like, oh, okay. It's 1.6 kilometers in that direction. Hold up your compass, so that's to the north-northeast. So then you just go south-southwest from there. So you'd open up your mouth, or your map, see where you are, south-southwest from it. So then you can see it's like 1.7 kilometers, so you, you just move it closer. And you keep moving it until eventually, like, it gets on top of your position, so now it's like 200 meters, and then eventually I would figure out that, oh, okay, I'm obviously in a town, so, boom, here I am. 11 meters. That's what I always do. It's kind of cheap, but it works. I know the whole idea of not having, like, the, your player on the map so you can discover where you are for yourself, like, by actually finding out what town you're in, etc. But, I mean, who's got time for that shit? Everybody just wants to fucking... Know what's going on right away. Know exactly where you are. Okay. So there's an ammo truck nearby. Probably gonna die on my way over there. I'm not gonna lie. But I will do my best. Because going up against Op4 and all the other guys, it's like, it's extremely difficult. 
Because you're like a lone soldier. Okay, rooms open. Enjoy. Okay. Guy likes to talk extremely loud. Actually, I'm going to turn that off. Hang on a second. Normally, I like to keep VoIP on, but since I'm recording, I might as well turn it off. Voice over net. Done. Boom. Finished. Alrighty. You're always gonna want to kind of like check your rear as you're running out of a town because people, especially in this server particularly, people spawn literally on top of each other. It's ridiculous. I can't tell you how many times I'd spawn into like an area and there'd be like a group of two people like looting a vehicle. I just sneak up on them and kill them both. I actually recorded it too. Biggest dick move ever, but hey. This here shit's about survival and cutting throats. And apparently wearing really ugly patterned shirts. The thing about Arma 3 too is that the island, especially Stratus, is just so fucking open. Like someone could just start pounding lead at me from like anywhere and just take me out right now while I'm busy. No, I can't even fit that in my inventory. See, if I can drive this thing, then I'll take it up the rest of the... Well, it's actually only 100 meters out. Oh, yeah, and there's people over there, so yeah. Alrighty, let's see if I can take some guys out. Beauty of trace arounds. I can see exactly where I'm shooting. Just hit him again. There you go, he's down. Enemy eliminated. The negative of trace arounds, as you can clearly see, is once he started to realize that, oh, he's being shot at, well, he knew that the entire time. I was hitting him a few times. But once he realized there were, there were trace arounds I was shooting at him, he's like, oh, fuck, I can ID where this guy's shooting me from. And he literally started popping off rounds pretty damn close to where I was at. The only drawback, but it's so much easier to see where your rounds are going. When you're playing single player and stuff, I recommend always using tracer rounds just because you can ID where your rounds are hitting. Like the trajectory of your round is a lot easier to see what's going on. And I'm pretty sure the AI is too stupid to see the tracer rounds. Hello. They're either too stupid to see the tracer rounds or too damn smart. And they'll fuck up your oh my god. Yes, please. Is there fucking ammo for this thing? Holy shit. I don't even care how much ammo's on this. I'm taking it anyway. Backpack olive. Take that too. Oh my god. Well. Let's go hunting boy- oh shit. Whoa, my god. <laughs> Well, 127 millimeter is not to be fucked with. Holy shit. Alright, let's get out of here. We must flee. I don't want to get caught off guard when I finally found a sick ass sniper. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Someone's trying to snipe me. Let's just keep moving. Hit the jackpot today, boys. I have yet- I've never found this weapon in multiplayer yet, so this is pretty fucking awesome. Somebody was firing a high-powered sniper rifle at me because you were able to- It kind of made no sense because I was hearing the shot before I was hearing the round hit. Which obviously in real life, you like, you wouldn't hear a big-ass boom from a weapon and then the round hit near you. The round would hit first, and then you'd hear the big-ass boom. map is just so big and tiny at the same time. Because really it's not that big. When you play Altice Wasteland, it's like everything. I mean, look, 300 meters over there. It's like, that's not, ver that's not far at all, man. Like, most engagements are at 300 meters. I'm talking real life. Like, 300 meters is like just what normal engagements usually happen at. 
it's like it's really not far at all but like this map stratus is actually tiny so it's like i think it's only the whole map alone is 20 kilometers squared i think probably even less than that 10 maybe 15 even i have no idea because i remember I, I measured it because uh we do a bft in the military it's called battle fitness test and part of it's doing a 13 kilometer ruck march with over 50 pounds on your back and it's like and this whole, I measured the entire island to see the distance. Cause I stood at one end and measured it to the other, and it wasn't even 13 kilometers. So I was like, this island would technically be ideal for doing a BFT. Just ruck across the island and boom, there you go. Plus it's over like really rough terrain, so it's like you're going up hills and down hills. Makes it harder on your body. Not to mention just amazing sights to take your mind off the pain. <laughs> like, the hurt. But it's a really small island. All the towns are within, like, good range. This sniper rifle can easily, well, in real life, it'd be able to fucking pick anyone off at great distances in this map. It's funny, because in DayZ, this is, like, regular traveling distance. Like, three kilometers? Oh, no problem. I'll just run that, because I have no choice. <laughs> Arma 3, it's like, okay, can I seriously not have to run this? Can I find a vehicular device somewhere? Thing is though, you run slower. And day Z you actually really sprint fast. If you put your fists up in the game and you start sprinting, you will cover so much ground so damn quickly and you don't get ever get tired, you never run out of sprint. In this, your character will get tired. He will run out of sprint. He has stamina. And a lot of hills. So that's that's something else to worry about. So they got it. They got to the cache. Apparently there's a knife fruit right over there and I didn't see. And there is targets. Okay. Time to go to work. There you go, he's down. That guy's just crossing over all kinds of fucking terrain. That's where he's gonna spot me out, considering third person in a vehicle really grants you the ability to- whoa! Alright, so, <laughs> he's dead. That guy who just drove by us is dead now. No idea what the fuck happened. I'm guessing someone with a rocket launcher kind of just cut him off. Who really knows? Had to do the sideways serpentine run up a hill just so I can keep moving quickly. Also, so I can stay in this concealed area where there's actually foliage to use. Look at that. Target out in the open. Hmm. You may be wondering why I didn't take the shot. Probably not actually, but if you are, if you're wondering why I didn't just like attempt to shoot him at least, I didn't want to draw out my position, and I sure as hell didn't want to waste a round even though I have a decent amount. But I just really, really didn't want to take a shot at him, him get down, and try looking for me. And then, also my character stamina was pretty low. So I was sprinting up that hill. 
the ATV right there. There's dust up there, see that? So there's a vehicle moving around somewhere. Okay. It's an enemy vehicle there. I doubt it was the same guy. It may have been the guy who was running across the open field. He looked like he was wearing the AAF uniform. When I saw him running by, that's what it looked like he was wearing. Whether or not he was is a different story. I don't think he was an independent player. At the same time, he was in the middle of nowhere by himself. There's a fairly good chance that was the case. Target eliminated. That guy was really close to me. I don't know where the hell he spawned. Probably in the town. Like, just right over yonder. It's a good thing he stopped. This <laughs> made it really easy to just be like, oh shit, there's a guy right there. There's a collection of vehicles over there, but I'm not seeing anyone. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, they're moving now. There's one vehicle heading right this way, which is not good for me. There's another vehicle right there. Well. There we go. The beauty of the 12.7 millimeter round. <laughs> Completely blow the shit out of vehicles. So, two individuals were killed there. There's one riding in the back. I was, I'm not going to lie, I was actually trying to hit the driver, but I couldn't tell how much I needed to lead the target. Could probably hit that chopper out of the sky. Definitely bugged him.
Oh yeah, he's feeling those. <laughs> he's bugging out now. Okay, where's that lighthouse? Guessing it's that, right? That's about 800 meters. Yeah. Oh, there's a target right over there. Okay, they're picking troops up over there. Okay. I have no idea what the fuck's going on now. That's just really weird. <laughs> that is how you land a helicopter, folks. Okay, I'm not sure if he's dead or if he's just prone. <laughs> he looks dead. <laughs> he got in the prone and he just kind of laid there and now his character looks like it's just a hump of meat. Okay, there's an off four vehicle moving out over there. Somebody's firing fucking rockets somewhere. Okay, I'm seeing movement way the fuck out there. Hang on a second, I can probably start engaging targets. How far is that? One kilometer. Okay, so they saw those rounds, and they just fucking booked it into the building, into their shitty looking base. I don't believe I did that. That was not my doing. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Man, I can see them run out for like a split second. Yeah, I'm gonna relocate. Just a little bit further down to give me another angle. Okay, so the first time ever... <laughs> I ran out of hard drive space. That's that's never happened to me before when recording. So you didn't see it, which sucks. <laughs> but uh, basically, what happened is this chopper that was up here. I managed to shoot it down myself. Which was quite awesome. So I shot it down, it crash landed up here, which is pretty much where I'm heading now. I ran out of ammo because it took all my ammo to fucking hit that thing and take it down. It didn't explode all in a glory of fucking fire and death. It just, like, the guy had to crash land. He had to set it down because it was just not... Hello? Okay. No idea if that hit him. Oh, he sees me. There we go, he's dead. Target eliminated, eat shit. So this is the helicopter I shot down. And I'm being shot at now. I'm pretty sure, yep, I'm being shot at now. Holy crap. Oh, I'm hit. And I'm dead. <laughs> Well, it's been a fun ride. I guess that'll wrap up this video, because it's extremely long. Until next time, it's been Pepperbelly, playing Arma 3 Wasteland. Take care, guys.